the first thing that we're doing now is saying that for those crucial, uh, most vulnerable older people, the over 75s, GPs will be responsible for making sure that they have good out-of-hours care. I think most people recognise that uh, they're not always going to be able to speak to their GP. I mean, GPs need to have the evening off, they need to have holidays, just like we all do. But they want to know that there's someone who's actually in charge of their care, who's making sure that they can access care when they need it. And if it's out of hours, they can talk to a doctor quickly who knows their background, knows what their allergies are, uh, knows the reason they went to hospital last year, whatever it is. And that doesn't happen at the moment, but I think today's announcement will mean that does start to happen. No amount of government spin can hide the fact that it's become harder to get a GP appointment under David Cameron, and nothing in today's announcement will correct that. People will still face the frustration of ringing the surgery at 9 o'clock in the morning and being told there's nothing available, and sadly that will lead to some people turning up at A&E. It is extra work for GPs, but um, what we're doing to make that possible is we're getting rid of a lot of the box ticking, the, the targets, uh, the, the micromanaging of every minute of every GP's day that really started with the 2004 contract. And because we're sweeping away 40% of GP targets, we're making possible this personalised care for our most vulnerable citizens. And I think it's something GPs welcome because that's why they became GPs, they wanted to give this care. But more importantly, I think it's something the public will welcome because it goes back to the kind of the values of family doctors but with a good dose of modern technology as well. This uh, announcement has been negotiated with GPs. Uh, there are some uh, modest improvements. I welcome the named GP for, for older people, but they complain that some of this, this change today corrects what was done last year and an increase in paperwork which came with last year's negotiations. You know, the government tries to claim it's all to do with the 2004 contract. That is simply not the case.